Five Suite First Alert Doppler HD. We picked up on this earlier, and sure enough, we have the tornado warning in the area. Let's put it in motion. The movement is to the west at 20 miles an hour, and uh, that's where the strongest of winds will be. It's in that area to the south. We'll get a zoom on it, and right now, we're going to pinpoint the area that's of concern. There it is. And Again, here's Nocatee that's included in the tornado warning. Also, Fruit Cove, Green Cove Springs, and this is coming uh, from the south and moving west, actually. It came off of the ocean as a water spout in South Ponte Vedra Beach. And so this is a case, once again, and we've seen that at times over the summer, when we have a water spout that's over water, that's the technical definition of it, coming off of the ocean, moving over land. Well, take a look at this uh, outside of our door here in Jacksonville. Look at the dark clouds as this area of rain does move along the I-95 corridor. I mean, give or take a few miles east or west, but essentially in and around the metro Jacksonville area and moving sort of north, northwest through the city. That's our first alert Skycam network at the Jacksonville landing over the Main Street Bridge. And if you see, here's I-10 in Stockton. You see the dark clouds in the distance, so the sun's shining here, but as you look back towards the city, you can see the heavy clouds through the area. All right, so let's get to it on five sweep first alert Doppler HD. The flow is from south, southwest to north, northwest, and right now Camden County with a good batch of rain for you guys there, especially along I-95, like I said. I also mentioned scattered showers and storms, but frankly, I haven't seen a whole lot of lightning with this, and here's what we just saw from our tower cam, our sky cam as well, and our DOT camera. That's the rain moving through the river district and then a little bit extending south and east towards the avenues and around Bay Meadows. So there we are, South Bank and then to the east around Craig Field and the Regency area headed for the Metro Zoo. And those of you in Nassau County, widely scattered showers here on this first day of school there in Nassau. And meanwhile, here in Brunswick, kind of waiting for the rain to come out of Camden County into Glynn, where right now we're 93 degrees as far as the heat index. Feels like whew, triple digits in Fernandina, Waycross, Valdosta, Lake City. Heat indices all in the triple digits. Get used to it, ladies and gentlemen. More on the way for tomorrow on a TGIF, and then more on the way for the weekend. Today's high in the lower 90s. You can get some relief along the coastline because... There's still that sea breeze out there. It's a warm sea breeze. It's a humid, balmy sea breeze, but it's a sea breeze. So a little bit of heat relief along the coastline. But if you're inland, oh, the heat is on and not going anywhere. Tropics pretty quiet. This has about a 10% chance of developing. I call that slim to none. So the tropics quiet. That's the way we like it in early August, at least. Upper 80s here. Volano Beach to Jekyll Island, including Hannah Park. And then in and around the metro area, yeah, we're going to the low 90s. Southeast winds, they're in that range of 5 to 15 miles an hour. And a hot one out west with the best chance for storms moving in your direction if you're well inland. Surf 2 to 3 feet. It's been a little stirred up lately because of that onshore fetch of air. Surf temperature's 83, so you can catch a little relief in the ocean. Uh, try it. I actually did it yesterday. This weekend, 93 on Saturday, 94 on Sunday. That's your first alert seven-day forecast where the weekend is always in view. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye on. Also, headed to the Jags game. Anybody against the Dolphins tomorrow night? It's still going to be 88 degrees when the Jags kick off at 730. So go Jags. Here we go. Meanwhile, pet of the day. Yes, that's Kitty Cat. Got that from Pete Host. <laughs> little serenade going on. Okay, so tracking the showers today. First alert Doppler HD. You can also find pet pics, by the way, go to your community. We've had some surveys done with the tornadoes that do make landfall where there are once water spouts, like the one in Mayport, and it uh, actually ran up to around Fernandina Beach. Usually those are anywhere from, again, 70, 80, 90 mile per hour winds, strong enough to do damage. That's like a Category 1 hurricane in a brief little uh, instance. And in those cases, we had some sort of minor to moderate damage in parts of uh, northeastern Duval and eastern uh, Nassau County. But I want to be clear where this one is. This one, with potentially winds of the same strength, right now affecting northern St. Johns County, southern Duval County, and then also northeastern Clay County. So that's what's happening. Here's uh, First Alert Doppler HD. 
I understand we have Tara Bars on the phone, our very own Tara Bars. And uh, Tara, where are you and what can you tell us right now? Hey, hey, Tom. I'm at the intersection of A1A and Palm Valley Road. I'm actually right outside the first Atlantic. Some cloud cover out there. We've seen some showers early this morning. A mixed bag. A mixed the, bag. As the weatherman would say. <laughs> is that We're a technical a term? Mixed bag. We're going to have a That's mixed a, bag out there today. Let me get to the page on the uh, weatherman cliches. Oh, yeah. there he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's right there in the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like my mom. Let's hear him again. Mom? Tommy! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> get that weather out of here! <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Live outside right now, it's 67 degrees, and we've been watching this shot from our tower cam here, and it's, it's been showing the increasing clouds across the area. Temperatures are uh, 66 to 68 degrees, real consistent across Duval County, where the rain is moving in on the west side of Jacksonville, now into downtown. That's where the rain is right now. We'll continue to track it for you this morning, and it runs really all along I-95 as it continues to push off quickly to the north and east. So that's the story this morning. Julington Creek, uh, the core of it coming in around 750. You seen goes for Ocean Way. South side, it will hear the pitter patter of the heavier rain at 752. Yuli 753, and the same goes for the avenues. So that's the scene on First Alert Doppler HD. Tom Johnston in the First Alert Weather Center. Kind of crowded this morning. I feel like my every word is being psychoanalyzed. Coming up, your first alert forecast with me and Dr. Phil.